from this video you can imagine how much uh, difficulties when flood inundation happening across the region for your professional responsibility for your social responsibility for your moral responsibility if you would like to do flood inundation mapping you can follow this link i'm sure you will able to do flood inundation mapping within a five minutes even uh, maybe sometime it will not take uh, five minutes it will take less than uh, three minutes don't worry about that we are not going to use so much uh, code very simple things you have to change and you can do so if there is any boundary just delete that one and draw a boundary i'm drawing the boundary across the bangladesh run from this top you can off this layer and immediately you can see flood map are appearing blue is the water body because all the water body is not inundation area not flooding area because perennial water body cannot be considered as a flood so this is the select horizon where is the most of the flood happening here so if you want to do again flood uh, inundation mapping on the select area just change the boundary and run again from the top perennial water body and a light blue are showing as a flood inundation area so run it create and it will create the flood inundation map most probably one mistake we did uh, this is uh, not 20 uh, end of the date uh, year this is the end of the year 2022 flood inundation map are coming this is the select area and also uh, clicking this uh, console you can see the image uh, details what kind of image are available what kind of image we are using all the details you can see so particular this is the 2000 um, 20 june 16 ms are appeared on that and uh, also this flood map you can uh, run and export to the google drive so click on that run uh, it will take maybe few minutes uh, to export so this is the way you can do flood inundation mapping so simple way downloading the uh, flood inundation map just uh, go to the u drive so that particular folder you will see the uh, flood map will be appear as as this is still uh, running uh, so therefore uh, flood map not yet appear but it will be appear within you can see the previously uh, i did some uh, export data export from that you can see the how many minutes it was taking if you are interested to learn about more about flood inundation mapping using the um, sentinel image you can uh, follow this paper this is also another important part not uh, you are limited within the flood inundation mapping but you want to do beyond the flood inundation mapping in this paper also has um, included the uh, code this is the code actually so same code actually what i was showing uh, this uh, video same uh, code you can use thank you so much for your attention i hope your flood inundation uh, information will be very much useful for the society it will be very useful for uh, rescue operation it will be useful for the relief operation also after the, after the flood uh, it will be very useful for flood mitigation why i do such kind of work in 1988 when a uh, flood was coming i was a high school student and uh, we don't know what to do so we are running uh, walking and giving the information particularly my sister uh, who are living very close to the um, flood uh, inundation zone but it was not um, we could not give the all the information on time also we could not uh, rescue on time after that um, uh, there is so many family was uh, taking shelter in our home beside the uh, professional responsibility when i see the flood uh, inundation happening particularly in bangladesh i feel this is my moral responsibility do some flood inundation mapping so that's why uh, i'm sharing this code